Dr. Rabin here coming to you between surgeries to talk about power combination number two. So I talked before about power combinations, two surgeries that just go together. Today I want to talk about brow bossing reduction and rhinoplasty. They are two surgeries that absolutely can be done separately and if a patient only needs one, they can be done separately. But for patients who are thinking that maybe both brow bossing and rhinoplasty are on their wish list, I would highly recommend doing them together. And the reason is I'm trying to create one smooth contour here from the forehead down throughout the nose. And so when I'm doing these procedures together, I'm trying to eliminate what I call the double bubble, meaning a brow bu a bubble for brow and then a convex or bump on the nose. And when done together, the result can be very powerful as you see here. So you see here how the brow is smooth there is still an indentation. We need to have a little indentation here. It's called the nasal frontal groove. Without it, people look really odd and sort of artificial. But instead of the double bubble, we want just a gentle curve in and then a little scoop of the nose. And as you can see here, you can see how the contours of the forehead <clears throat> and how reducing the brow bone and then changing the angle or the slope of the nose, those two things together have a really powerful effect on the profile, but also work together from <clears throat> all different angles. So here at the oblique, you see before kind of heavy hooded eyes and a nose with a little bit of a bump. Now the patient has this nice smooth contour going over the brows and around the nose, as well as a smooth contour this way. So power combination number two, brow bossing reduction, rhinoplasty. Two surgeries that are just meant for each other.